all my stuff packed. Right, be more upbeat, Azo. Come on, you've got this. Be more upbeat. <laughs> the reason I'm not upbeat is because I... No. Let's not be a bit defeated here. <sighs> I will. You've got to believe in what you say sometimes, and then it might come true. So, I'm off to the coast, and I'm going to catch a load of fish, lobsters, crabs. It's going to be an absolute piscatorial picnic. Um, I'm off to go meet the one and only Joey Vaughn ex-footballer McBramble Teats by the coast. I've got him, I've brought my, uh, I've got all my spearfishing gear but I've brought my surfing wetsuit which is five mil so it should keep him warm even his little skeletal frame and uh, he's cobbled together himself, a he's got himself a little snorkel and mask. <laughs> Bless his cotton bollocks. Uh, this has got bollock, it's not bollock. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to take him out. We're going to, but he's going to go for a little bit of a rummage around in the in the rock pools. Maybe I'll get him a bucket and spade in case he, he gets bored. And uh, yeah, hopefully, like I don't know what's going to happen. So maybe the thumbnail will give it away. Maybe some epics happened and I've used it as a thumbnail. That might be a or in the title, no doubt. Yeah, the title will probably give it away anyway. Ah, fingers crossed that we have uh, that we can we can get something and eat it from the ocean. That would be fantastic. And it's a beautiful day, and it's forecast to be a beautiful few days. So let's go. I've got a bit of a gammy knee, but that's I'm not going to whinge about that. Ah, just go on with it, don't you? SBS, and look who it is. Tom Cruise after being stranded for about. 18 years look <laughs> not Tom Cruise Tom <laughs> who is it Tom Bombadil Tom Tom Hanks after being stranded on island there he is ah, ah. the visibility doesn't look very good at all but we're gonna go and have a look see what's going on you'll excuse me if I'm a bit giddy I'm just excited to be out with my pal not been out with him for a long time so might get a little bit giddy and uh, and whatnot <laughs> Well, that's all part of it. <laughs> not much of a change to uh, not much of a change to my last lot of gear. Except if I got a new knife, that's just mainly just to dispatch fish. And I've got an extra two kilograms of weight for my belt, and I've got an extra kilogram um, spaced over both my ankles with these ankle weights. So. Hopefully I'll stay on bottom. Joey D's in my surfing wetsuit. Here he is. Hopefully you don't get mistaken for seaweed. Wait. Barnet. Tied Barnet back a little bit. Tied Barnet back and he's, he's tamed, he's done the impossible and, and tamed the Barnet. That's how serious we... The brambles. He's yeah, he's fucking hacked the brambles. That's how serious we're taking this. To bring you some clobber. We're going in two days up bounce though, so we're not putting any expectation on ourselves. If we don't get anything, we don't get anything. We've got uh, we've got two days of it. We're, we're just gonna to go learn. and what? We're here to learn. We're here to learn. And that's it. I'm gonna teach Joey D some stuff. Um we'll switch over to GoPro and uh, get out into soup. Yeah, it's like meditating, mate. You just need to be out of your mind. Yeah. And don't be, when you, when you feel that need to breathe, that isn't real, that's fake news. You don't, you can go beyond that. Right. That you'll get contractions, but you can just ride them out. But obviously, you don't, you're not going to do that just yet. Oh. Nice place to be, though, eh? No joy. Um, I saw a decent sized brown crab, but. By the time I'd gone back down, the, the current had took me away from it, so nothing there, but we were just getting our bearings and that, so time's pushing on, so we're going to go find somewhere to string up our, we're in danglers today, tonight, so we're going to go find somewhere to string danglers up, and then we're going to come back tomorrow morning at, at low tide and see if we can have a bit of success, but let's cover the nips up and uh and get back out of here. Whoa. Right, not been doing much filming because we've been trying to find somewhere before it get dark. It's dark now. 
I'm just having some chimichanga, what would you call them? Just beef strips. Yeah. Yeah, just thinly sliced beef with lovely spices on. There we go, look there. It should be sea bass and lobster, but that's tomorrow night. Oh, smoked out. Yeah, so not going to do much filming tonight. Just going to enjoy this. Enjoy this banquet. I'm on coconut water, look. Staying off the pop for this evening. Joey's not red wine because he's not a salad like myself. Got to make the most of it, yeah. you got to make most of it, yeah. There we are, look, set up. We're going to have some salad with it. Um, then just slurp on uh, coconut water into the night. It's going to be a clear night. And we're in this lovely little ancient woodland. There we are. Spiced steak, potato salad, uh, chilli and olives, and uh, like a charred baby lettuce. Grub. Wonderful night sleep I had there. Didn't drink last night, and I think that's probably one of the first times that I've not drank when I've been out around the fire with my pal. Oh, I just had coconut water. <laughs> and because uh, I'm growing up, getting me, I'm becoming sensible. And I didn't want to drink. Joey D had a bottle of red wine because, you know, he's not a lettuce like me, but I'm taking this spearfishing seriously and I don't want a hangover. I want to feel, I want to be the best version of me to be out in that North Sea because it's dangerous out there. You need to be sensible and I'm looking after, looking after me pal as well. So what sort of a pal would I be if I rocked up with fuzzy wine head, not thinking straight and shot him with spear there's not a lot of, there's not a great deal of meat on him so I wouldn't even be able to eat him and feel full so it'd just be a waste of a waste of life so anyway let me show you what we're working up to Alp kit three season I've lost a lot of feathers out of it so it's getting and it's uh, it's getting a little bit thin it might not I don't know if we'll do another winter with it, but it's it's served me well. I was warm. Thermarest X Therm, Sea to Summit Pillar, and I have a little um, a tie, tie little paracord, a little bit of paracord as a ridge line. I have my uh, my torch on there. Risked it for a biscuit. Forecast was pleasant, so risked it. Luckily, it didn't rain. Otherwise, that would have been traumatic. No, look, look, you have the. There you go, Von Pencil Shavings is over there. Don't know where he is, to be fair. I think he's gone looking for mushrooms. He's gone scuttling off looking for shrooms somewhere. Kept it so simple last night as well. We didn't make a. A firewall or a backrest reflector or anything or um we just had the fire there cooked our delicious food on it did what we needed to do the visibility was um ah, the visibility went up to much yesterday so we might just focus on crustaceans and uh, but we'll see we'll see ah <sighs> Right, let's get up. We'll get the hammocks packed away. You got any toothpaste, mate? Yeah, I think so. I nick a little bit. Fine beef. Yeah. There you go. You can't even see it. That's where we had the fire. Shh. 
Sherlock Holmes wouldn't be able to find that. <laughs> or Miss Marple, Bergerac. Because today, for me, is all about getting out in that sea and blasting that seal through, through bonts and cooking it up on a fire. So if there's a picture of me holding a dead seal in thumbnail, you'll know I was successful. <laughs> Right, I'll see you at the coast. Visibility looks pretty poor. <coughs> well, I'm going to swim out and see what it's like at further out. Uh, Joey D might just play in these little pools here. <laughs> yeah, visibility is terrible here. It's because it's pretty windy, so. We'll have a swim out and see if we can find any patches of good viz and see what it's like deep down um, for spearing. And if it's not good, I'll just purely stick to um, the lobster claw. See if I can get some up with that. Right, no go in that area. Visibility is terrible. I don't know if I've filmed that much of it, but visibility is terrible. The currents are too strong. So I'm gonna go in this bit. Joy D's tapping out because just for anyone, it, it's not as easy as just grabbing a surfing wetsuit and coming down and thinking you can just do it. For anyone who's watching this, you need to get it. Safety is important. I, I, I recommend doing a free diving course starting from the bottom safety first just be safe so i'm gonna go swim out past this kel and have a look in this little bay and see if the visibility is any better and see see what we can find just for half an hour or so and as you can see the visibility was better than it was in the other place this was just me swimming out in the kelp so as you can see yeah it's, it's, it's getting better and the it was slack water so i had about I don't know, I hit a sweet spot man, it was just about half an hour and the, the, the waves, the current wasn't washing me about and uh, everything, all the sediment seemed to just settle so I made the best of it while I could. Um, I mean I say visibility was better, it was marginally better. As you can see here, this was, this was the visibility I was dealing with once I'd swum through the kelp. 
but once I'd dived down, I could sort of, I mean, it's no good for fishing, but um, I abandoned my spear and just went in search of crustaceans after a while. And I abandoned my spear altogether and got out. We sat dejected as the tide came in and then I said to Joe, right, just one more, one more blast. I'll just take my torch and my lobster claw thing in my jiggy and go for one last blast. And I came up trumps. The battery faded on my GoPro, so I didn't catch the actual uh, tussle between me and Mr. Lobster, but I came out triumphant. <laughs> we were so, so happy. There you go, fully legal sized lobster. We had to work for our dinner there. Now we're gonna get up into the woodlands and uh, cook it up, see if Joey D can get some, uh, some mushrooms for us as well. Come on. Nothing small about that, mate. <laughs> and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Tea. That's how you catch a lobster, as easy as that. As easy as that. It's easy. Woo! That was not easy. <laughs> there you go. Just a little tip for everyone if you look under here and they've got black balls on them, that means they call it berries, but they're in their, their eggs and then they've got to go back. And uh, it's a regulation size, we've measured it. Brilliant, mate. Ah. Hiked into these woods, but we're going to go deeper, but... Testies. We're going to go deeper, but we found a little plunge pool here. So we're going to get in and wash all the salt off and just freshen up in there. And then head deeper into the woods and get a fire going. Let's, uh, let's, let's dunk the junk. Tinder bundle look. Oh, it's colder than North Sea. Oh, that, isn't it? Jeez, there's a fish there. Right, I don't know, it's oh my god. Oh no. It's going to be quick. I mean, I don't even want to get my pants wet. So you've got to deal with wet pets. Oh, the pain. The pain. 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 Oh. Boy, too hot, boiling hot. Was it? Boiling, boiling mate. Sparking. Woo! Sweating. Get wet suit on. Get wet, no. This is... Agony on feet. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not agony on feet. Wim off mate. Wim off. Too hot. It's too hot for me. Oh. Oh, it's... Oh, it's deep. Woo! <laughs> 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 Do you like my body and you think it ticks? Come on. Uh, oh. I don't want to like, do you? Can't we just, <laughs> can't we just do that? Oh. Uh, I'm getting really cold, my legs hurt. If you want my body and you think I'm gravy. Oh. Oh. Right, spam fritter. I'm starting to convulse. <laughs> right. Hit the bell notification, subscribe for more, stick a post-it note to your Doc Martin, I'm out. <laughs> oh. That'll do oh, you. Yes. Oh. Oh. See what that? Too hot. Sweating, need to cool down a bit.
Right, you might, we're just going to have a little cheers to... Cheers. I'm on the water, by the way, so... Here's cheers to H2O. H2O. I'm off the sauce for a bit, so don't, don't, don't leave in droves, don't panic. <laughs> right. On the last Q and A, or at some point, I asked every, I asked you, I asked people to send in video messages, or like questions, or for advice, and a few of you did, and so thank you to everyone that did. Joe's not, I've not seen him. Joe's not seen him. So this is live and direct. We're going to read a few out now, we're going to watch them and then hopefully I'm going to put them on the screen so we can all watch them together as one. Right, please work. Sorry this transfer has been deleted and is not available anymore. What is? Why? Do you think it's because I didn't, I didn't get them when they got came? I, I don't know. I don't right, know sorry. We, uh, I don't know about we transfer. What's his name there? Talis Talisian Talis 2 and I'm sorry to everybody who's <laughs> this isn't going well right David then yeah, this is going to work hi YouTube it? this is a quick video response to Hayes Outdoors for a question he recently posted on his channel some of you may know that he features on his channel uh, question and answer segments where he and Joey D wait a minute let's pause this because my man sat on a tank for God's sake he's on a tank I, mean, I wasn't expecting that. He's on a tank, and it ain't a military tank. Well, we know, because we, I've put it up here somewhere. <laughs> He's, on He's, He's on a tank. He's on a tank, right, let's carry on. He's very articulate as well. Just wait a minute as well, because it's me pausing and starting this going to... Have I got a lot of work to do when I get in editing suite? Yeah, a horrendous amount. Sinking it all up in that. Pause and start. I think you're just going to have to show it. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. Let's, let's get back into it. Comments and on Twitter and so on. And he recently asked uh, whether anyone wanted to produce a video submitting a question. So my question to you, Hayes, and also Joey D, is what kind of gear do you carry as your EDC? I'm thinking like knives or multi-tools or if you put anything on your keychain so that you can crack open a bottle of beer uh, whenever you need to. My own EDC includes the usual kind of things, but also this lock picking set, which is everything that I need to pick most of the locks that I encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, or that I picked for my YouTube channel. My alternative question, if someone's already asked my first question, is if you were to be stranded on a desert island uh, with just one album of music and one book, what would they be? Hayes, if you're watching, thanks firstly for watching, but also for being uh, a huge inspiration for my own wild camping activity. For everyone else, I recommend that you go check out Hayes' channel because it's really good fun and you'll find something there that you'll enjoy. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a tank right. In his back garden, okay, so he's got a tank. We've established that. Right. Well, I've got a few of these to get through. So, right. It, first of all, thank you for being our first ever video question, and also quite a professional video. Professional video, but I, uh, there's a few alarm bells have gone off for me. The tank. Why? Tank. Yeah. Pickpocket. I mean, not pickpocket. Pick lock. Lock, lock pick picker, set. Yeah, yeah. Is he? Is he safe? Um. Well. As long as you don't give your address out. Don't pick my lock. Imagine you can just come through with tank, honey, and just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Take so, EDC, what do you carry every day, like, every day carry? Every day carry? Is it... That's EDC, yeah. For me, condoms, money, uh, <laughs> just condoms and money. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Knife, just a knife, just a small knife, you know, legal, blade limit. Yeah. Do I carry a rape whistle out? No. Nope. Pretty man like you? Well, yeah, there is that. But... <laughs> That's it, like, yeah, just, I don't really, I'm not one for carrying uh, knives around with me, because, uh, sort of, I do spend quite a bit of time going like going around town and stuff, and I don't really need. I don't feel the need to carry. Does he mean? Them. Does he mean every? Literally every day carry. All the way. Every all day right, carry. Right. Yeah. I'm always in a rush. No, 
I got my everyday carry at work, which is like I carry a blade on me and a you're not, tape You're measure. not a Leatherman, man. No, I do have a multi-tool, but I would never carry it or all the Swiss time. Swiss Army knives. They're the two. They're the two that you might carry all, yeah. all day, every day, aren't they? Yeah, if I had to, I'd still carry just a condom and loads of cash. Re yeah, it's got to be cash. I'm ready. Cash and Johnny's. <laughs> Thanks for your question, mate. Next. Good, that. Jonathan Royston Ford. He sounds posh. Hope it sends great content. Here we go. <laughs> I'll put this on screen somewhere. This is good content, this. Hey up, Easy and Joey Von Grimes. Question one is for you, Ace. What's your favourite 80s action movie star? Or your favourite action movie of the 80s? And Joey D, what's the favourite prank that you've done as a teacher? Or when you were a pupil at school, what's your favourite prank? Yeah, please answer to make questions there. And also, thank you for calling your slingshot the Jonathan Royston Ford. Did you call your slingshot the Jonathan I don't think Ford? so, but maybe I did a bit of a joke to call it the Jonathan... Well, thanks, Jonathan Royston Ford, first and foremost. Favourite 80s... Superhero. Action hero. Action hero. Or action film. Or action film. Right, let me remind me what's in 80s. 80s? Jean-Claude Van Damme. I think he was, he was starting out in the 80s, wasn't he? Who have I got then? Schwarzenegger and all that, no? He's, um, he's like Predator 80s, is that? Yeah. Cause that's an early Schwarzenegger yeah. film, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to go for Arnie, because he's just top trumps, isn't he? Yeah. If you had a top trumps of all... Obviously, Steven Seagal's good, but... If we're being real, Arnold, Arnie's the top trump, isn't he? And he's bowed out and he's done other stuff, hasn't he? He's proved his worth. He's, mm. he's gone on to... Oh, he's back in movies now. Bigger, better thing. Well, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. He's got, he's, he's he's got away with murder, out. that lad. In right. So probably Arnie and probably Predator 1. Oh, it's such a good film. Good film, mate. It... Mine. Uh, prank. I don't really do pranks. I'm not a prank kind of guy, to be honest. You're dead inside in many ways, aren't you? Yeah. I've never, I've never, I've never been into pranks. I've, have you? It's never something I've done. I don't like pranks. I, I do. I don't do. I wouldn't set up a prank, but I do no. like. Uh, I do maybe a little bit of tomfoolery now and then. Like I do some. I'll, I'll. Yeah. I'll do a bit of tomfoolery. Yeah, it's not. It's not for me. But I wouldn't set up a prank. I won't go through the effort of setting up a prank. Cause... Like is that like the you know the water on the door that's slightly open and then someone cling oh, film of a toilet. Yeah, that's what makes me think of a prank. I think people who do pranks are a little bit, it's a bit... Yeah, it's time and place for that, isn't it? It's time and a place for that, isn't it? <laughs> when you've just got together with a girl, that's when you play pranks. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like to wake her up with a, like, a taser gun. Taser them. Taser them in the sleep. <laughs> Don't do that. Never do that. Never do that, because we're trying to appeal to my... Thanks for your question. Cheers. Royston Vasey. I collected some red cedar bark on the way in. Uh, we're gonna. Little nest and then. Char cloth from when I did me. Uh, the other day, Tales from Garden. Right, put it on edge of there and then, there you go, takes a spark. Ember.
just a knife through the brain and that's a quick quick death is dispatched now There he is. Went for one last dive, managed to catch this. Well happy with it. Cheers, mate. Right, yeah. Cheers. Amazing. See how she tastes. No. It's unbelievable. Speak up. <laughs> the taste of that is so intense, isn't it? That's beautiful. It's salty. Oh gosh. Seafoody. Really astonishing. You need to speak. You can't mumble, guy. I can't even hear you, let alone camera. It's a pretty, it's a cracky, it? What? You need to crack that again, I think, don't you? <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely stunning, mate. Like with all seafood like this, it's a labour of love. I remember growing up and getting loads of brown crabs, my uncle would bring them up to our house because he was a fisherman and we'd sit with a hammer and a, a nutcracker and just go to town on it. Well worth it though, well worth it. I'll tell you what as well, if you... Oh! Down, go on, you can you... have that, go on. That's a good little tool to you, yeah, get it down you kid. Oh mate, that is special. Is that nice? Really, really nice. That's a good little tool, uh, a winkle picker for picking out the rest of it. Um, <laughs> there is stuff in there. Oh man, really meaty and just... It's everything you want is sweet. It's sweet, sweet salt. And, yeah, it doesn't need seasoning. I, you know, I wrestled with him. I don't know, I don't think I had any footage of it, but wrestled with him under the sea <laughs> dispatched him and now I'm consuming him and it makes you appreciate uh, your quarry as well a lot more excellent this is the tail you can break it open with your, just with your hands if you've got a, uh, got minerals oh there's another good bit there look get it down there oh that's going to go cold isn't it yeah, you can just take the t the 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 spine there, and it, the the back of it, and it, the its uh, intestinal tract runs down there. So you can just take that out and get rid of it. So there's all that, and we've eaten the claws. So you could add that to risotto, pasta, anything you want. But I think it's best just to eat it as is. Oh, so dense, isn't it? Yeah, meaty, meaty. satisfying. Really yeah. Meaty. Meaty but sweet. Sweety. <laughs> Lobster cooked in the woods. It's one of the greatest things I've ever eaten, that thing. Unbelievable, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> mm. Simplicity of taste, no other, no, nothing else messing around with the taste. It's, I think that was cooked to, I don't think you could have cooked that much better, mate, on a, straight on a fire. I think that was done really nicely. Brilliant. Yeah, cook lovely, tender, juicy. Mm. <laughs> it's got to be ten out of ten. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Boom, lobster in the woods done. <laughs> Joey D's getting stuck into what? I'm oh, sorry, mate. Duvel. Duvel out percent is it? Eight point five. Woo! 
I'm getting stuck into water, zero percent. Belly's full, resigned to Amok. After a full day on the beach foraging. Feels good. Unless something magical or tragical happens, so I'll see you on the morrow. Morning glamps. Look at this for a wake up spot. Oh. Just behind me. I've got running water here. I've got a bigger stream there. So you can just stay running water all night. Soothing. There's Von D, look. Should we do a live wake up? Are you alive, Joseph? It's time for school. It's time for school. You're late for school. He's got his tits out. Tits out. Are you warm? Oh, yeah. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. A live wake up call with Joey Von D there. I hope you're impressed. Okay, pop your head out at Amit, please. Just because I was showing him. Watch, have a look at this morning hair, watch. The other side. <coughs> Just got a few fans want to see morning hair. <laughs> oh, that, that is stunning, stunning stuff, mate. Thank you, thank you very much. There you are. Don't say I never give out. Straight up from Morlands, that. There's also a bit of a sheep farm up there, so you always got to be careful when dealing with farmland. Soya squeeze, let's get a brew on. Work with the fish last night, what is going on? Oh, warm. I think Mad Bunny zipped up. Oh, so sorry. Fire gone. Take as much pride in hiding your fire as you do in starting your fire. That's a good one. It's a good one. Take as much pride in hiding your pride in hiding your fire. Highlights. Uh, it's got to be the lobster. No, I was saying you'd look cool with some uh, highlights. Yeah. Turn it ending after credits. <laughs> after credits have rolled. Huh? The real ending. Love you. Tell, tell him you love him. Don't. He doesn't. Pretend you love him. Love you. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> he loves you. You're a skinny. I'm like Jordan, trying to rise on to the dunk. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warden, I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars all have gone by by the month. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warden, I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars all have gone by by the month.